The Eastern European nation of Belarus wraps up its presidential election this weekend, with that country's authoritarian president facing an unlikely challenge from a stay-at-home mom turned opposition candidate. She's leading a protest movement years in the making, now partially fueled by unrest over the country's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. So what could it mean for the man considered by many as the last dictator in Europe? ABC's Patrick Rievel has a story. Until recently, these scenes would have been almost unimaginable in Belarus, the country's largest protest since the fall of the Soviet Union. Tens of thousands of people calling for an end to the rule of Alexander Lukashenko, Belarus's authoritarian president. In power already now for 26 years. On Sunday, Belarus will conclude a five-day presidential election that had been expected to be another coronation. Instead, Lukashenko, long nicknamed Europe's last dictator, is facing an unprecedented challenge to his rule, one fueled in part by the coronavirus pandemic. People came even after the rally was banned. They came with children, people of different ages. People are not afraid anymore. The protests have coalesced around this woman, Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, until a few months ago, the former teacher was a stay-at-home mum. But then her husband, a popular blogger who sought to run against Lukashenko, was jailed. So she, reluctantly, stepped into the race herself. My first step was uh, just for love, for love for my husband. I saw how many people supported him and how many people uh, want these changes, how many people are tired, and I felt uh, responsibility for all these people. Tikhanovskaya has joined forces with two other women, focusing a wave of dissatisfaction years in the making, but that's now been boosted by Lukashenko's handling of the pandemic. He dismissed the virus as a hysteria, refusing to lock down, and even holding a huge annual military parade in May. Belarus has now had at least 68,000 confirmed virus cases. One of them, Lukashenko himself, who last week said he'd already recovered from the virus. Millions of ordinary Belarusians, though, took the virus seriously. The way Lukashenko treated coronavirus crisis uh, definitely added fuel to the people's uh, dissatisfaction and, and uh, indignation. And the first kind of sign of uh, massive protest was when parents, like myself, we did not let our kids go to school because of coronavirus. I know the mood of uh, our people now. They want these changes and they are going to stand for these changes because they are tired. They are tired of being... Humiliated. Tikhanovskaya says if she wins, her platform is simple. Release political prisoners and call new free and fair elections. The dangers of opposing Lukashenko, though, remain. In recent days, more activists have been detained. In June, Tikhanovskaya said she received a call threatening to put her children in an orphanage if she didn't drop out. There's a choice, my kids or to continue the fight. I think my choice will be obvious, so I ask you to understand any decision I make. After she managed to get her children out of Belarus, Tikhanovskaya stayed in the race. Lukashenko has won previous elections with results over 80 percent, produced by what observers say is widespread fraud. But a stolen election this time could trigger upheaval. In recent days, Lukashenko has toured military bases, sending an unmistakable message to demonstrators. But what happens in Belarus potentially has consequences beyond it. A political upheaval on neighboring Russia's doorstep could provoke a crisis. So the question now is what comes after Sunday's election? If people come out to protest, Tikhanovskaya says she will join them. If people decide that they have to do this because our government doesn't hear, uh, ordinary people, so uh, I will be among them, of course. I will not hide. How many people feel the same and how harsh the authorities' response to them will be will determine what happens next. Patrick Reval for ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.